So at the date of this recording, which is Monday, June 8th, uh, the stock market has really taken off again. I mean, we've seen that V shape like a lot of people didn't think was gonna happen, but also a lot of people did think that that V shape was gonna happen. And if you don't know what I mean, we will see exactly what I'm talking about in a minute. But just over the past month, I think my portfolio has gained 18% or 17%. So that it is, that's pretty exciting to see. I'm actually back up on my uh, one year. I'm in the green. I'm actually in the green, I think close to 6%, which is incredible. But guys, I have finally sold Ford. I did take a small loss and we will see how small of a loss I did take, but I sold it this morning and I reinvested that money, which was roughly 550 bucks. So around $600 because you guys do know every Monday I put $50 into this account. Next week, I will be starting to put $100 into this account because I do want to at least reach it to 10 grand by the end of the year, this account alone to 10 grand by the end of the year. <laughs> but before we get into that, guys, Let's get to a thousand subs by the end of June. I mean, we're so close. We're, we're almost there. We're almost to 950 subs. So, so let's reach a thousand subs by the end of the month. I know we could do it. You guys are, are, you guys are awesome. You pushed this channel far within the last month. So I know we're gonna hit it by the end of June, the way you guys uh, handle business. But go ahead and Hit that red subscribe button if you already haven't. Join this little community, this little family we got going on, guys. Become a part of the first 1,000. And go ahead and hit that like button. Smack it, whack it, pack it. Whatever you gotta do to it. Just uh, go ahead and light it up there <laughs> for the YouTube algorithm because it actually helps this channel more than you guys know. So guys, on the day, we are up 3.04%. And 48 cents or a little bit more than that just a little bit a couple of cents more it is what it is um as you guys can see here nicola is up 22 percent up uh 89 if you guys remember if you follow me on here if you've seen any of my previous videos uh nicola i've talked about before i actually did a video on it talking about it maybe the next the next tesla um so check that out i'll leave a card right here if you want to so over the past week, um, I made a 11% profit, which is $545.39, which is awesome. And almost 19% on the month, which is uh, $895.10. Three months, we're up 13%, $600, $645. over the past year, we're finally back up in the green. You see that V-shape I was talking about, um, which is $319, 6.03%. Yes, so we're finally back in the green, guys. And we're close to my all-time highs for this here portfolio, as you can see here. So we're gonna go over the stocks that's in the green and that's not right now. Um, as you can see here, I have Coca-Cola, AT&T, Mary Jane, AG&C, PSEC, Verizon is not in the green. Um, and you'll see what I sold off in a minute. If you guys remember, I sold off MPW and I finally sold off Ford, all 70 shares of Ford. That's what I sold today, I sold Ford um, for a small, small loss. Actually, technically it's not a loss because I made more in dividends than the loss of gains was. So, technically not a loss. So, 16 hours ago, um, dropped $50 into the portfolio that does it automatically you guys know I'm a big fan of automatic payments and automatic deposits but 8 27 a.m. I sold 70 and a half shares of Ford for seven seven dollars and 54 cents now my um, my cost average was seven dollars and 85 cents so it was roughly like a twenty dollar um, loss I took loss right because we made more from the dividends than the actual loss itself <laughs> So that freed up about 500 bucks, a little over 550 bucks, something like that. Um, so that with the $50 I had in there was a little over $600. First thing I did was I bought uh, 2.03587 shares of RTX at uh, $73.58. That was uh, roughly 100, 
150 bucks I put in there. So RTX is a great stock to get into, especially right now, Raytheon Technologies. Um, they're awfully low. Let's see over the past five years. So the high was around $90 or so over the past year. I did already gain a dividend of 62 cents from here. But so I did bring my average cost up a little bit, but I do want to get to around 10 or 15 shares as fast as possible with RTX um, before it starts shooting up again. Hopefully it slides down some so I can get a better deal. But um, my total return is $53.05. And so and this is roughly 7% of my portfolio. So now I have five 0.763967 shares of RTX. So I put 150 bucks in there this morning. Next we have who else but Coca-Cola. I put $100 in Coca-Cola, got 2.016515 shares of Coca-Cola at $49.59, which lowered my cost to $50.22. So now I have 12.3010 three nine shares uh this is 10 almost 11 percent of my portfolio and i'm actually still down about three dollars uh but i'm sure it's soon to get out of there and my last dividend was april 2nd for uh two dollars and 87 cents so next we have uh <laughs> sphd you guys know I, that's my thing sphd i love it investing in sphd so about a hundred dollars worth which equaled out to 2.682346 shares at an average price of $37.28. So I think now I have close to 25 shares. Yeah, 24.114883 uh, shares at an average cost of $36.14. Um, and uh, this usually trades a little higher. Yeah, close to 40 bucks, at least over the past five years. So yeah. Um, my total return as of right now, $34.73, almost to a thousand dollar market value. Uh, and that is 16.17% 16 16 of my portfolio. Next we have realty income. I put a hundred dollars in realty income. Um, so I bought 1.56325 shares of realty income uh, at $63.97. So now I have 6.79631 uh, shares, so close to seven shares of O Realty Income. Uh, average cost is $57.65. You guys know that this is a um, monthly dividend stock. And I've been wanting to get more money in here, more capital in here, and that's what we're doing here. Uh, my total return is $44.32. My, oh, I have a dividend coming up June 15th, owning 4.8 shares at uh, one dollar and 14 cents um as you guys know last month in may i think i made close to 17 dollars in uh payments from my entire dividend portfolio here doesn't sound like much but it is growing and growing and growing guys next we have agnc investment uh, i put 31 dollars and 98 cents into agnc and i received 2.300482 shares at an average price of $13.90. And I did lower my cost average here um, to $15.18. Uh, so now I have 16.639632 shares of AGNC. I'm still down 16 bucks, and this is roughly 4.21% of my portfolio. Got a $1.70 coming for, from AGNC on the 9th. Uh, for only 14 shares now we have 16 shares so we should have a little more coming next month just as we always do because we always reinvest that dividend coming in anyway uh, let's see at and i bought uh 50 worth of at and so i bought 1.527145 shares at 32 dollars and uh 74 cents so i now have 13.732703 shares at an average cost of $33.36. Still down $2.30 and is roughly 8% of my portfolio, which is uh, not too bad, but I definitely want to get this up as well. So one thing I have noticed is I, I've kind of been spreading myself a little too thin amongst the stocks I have. I definitely think I need to focus on uh, fewer at a time, adding fewer um, positions in at a time. So let's say, you know, 
instead of separating hundred dollars into three stocks or four stocks, put it into one or two stocks or less. You know what I mean? Just kind of try to build those positions up a lot quicker. And we might as well see this here. Uh, I reinvested my dividend of Pfizer. So now <laughs> I have 0 0.064246 more shares of Pfizer than I had before because I invested a $2.30 into it. And this is the snowball effect you hear uh, about compound interest. So guys, that is everything I made. That's all the changes I made this week. Remember, I sold MPW last week. I sold for this week. That's probably all I'm gonna sell out of this portfolio for quite a while. I'm definitely ready to start uh, dumping more money into here. I wanna get to 10,000 pretty fast and I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs pretty fast. See that whiteboard back there? Once that whiteboard happens, once we hit a thousand subs, somebody's gonna get something for free. Probably a free shirt. Who else knows what else? So, um, if you want to help this channel out as much as you can, go ahead and <laughs> smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps uh, such a small, minute channel like myself that doesn't get a whole lot of views and a whole lot of traction um, compared to most channels. I mean, I'm. I find that you guys are killing it for me. Like I've been getting a lot more views than I have been lately, but more is better most of the time. And if you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and consider clicking that red subscribe button, turn it gray to join this little family we got going on here, guys. Um, look, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are selling any of your stocks here lately. Um, and what's the reason behind it? Like I told you, I just feel like my money could do better um, outside of Ford and MPW. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, have a great week. Let's get this money. Let's get this bread. Um, rest in peace, George Floyd. I haven't talked about that much on this channel actually at all. Um, that's because I, I talked about it somewhat on my Instagram. So anyway, like I said, rest in peace, George Floyd. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate what happened. But guys, stay safe out there, um, stay healthy, keep your head up, and we're going to get through this together. Okay, so, y'all have a good day.